Nate said four coaches in four years, but I'm looking at the quarterback position as a question mark for me because you guys addressed the defense. Mm -hmm. We all like Thomas and Foster, and you made 21 free agent signings in a quick period. Team's going to get there, but the quarterback position, and this is nothing against the guys in the building, but Brian Hoyer, Matt Barkley, and C.J. Beathard, do you see yourself getting above 9-7 and seven with that crew? And how do you assess the quarterback position? Because to me, the 49ers are Joe Montana, Steve Young, Colin Kaepernick, Alex Smith. Like, quarterback and Niners is synonymous. How do you see this? Brody, Wyatt, Tittle, you know, throw those guys in there. Right. And I think that's really, when, we, when you look at Kyle Shanahan, offensive-minded guy, guy that has history with the 49ers directly and indirectly, you know, I think he's going to do a great job. He's done a great job with Brian Hoyer in the past. And I think he's going to continue to do a great job with Brian. Brian has grown in his career. And I think he's ready to be a, a, a good quarterback for us. You know, so that's a position. Until you get your guy, you, you have to keep taking shots. And, I mean, you know, as much as we compete with the guys up north, they did that very well. You know, they, they, they signed Flynn to a big contract. Yep. But then they still draft one that they like, right. who happens to be Russell Wilson. Yep. And until you're set... Like, you can never top, stop taking shots to get your guy a quarterback because that's ultimately what drives this league. When I played for the Lions, I had a relationship with the Ford family. That meant something to me. It meant something to the guys in the locker room. Out of all the guys in the 49ers locker room, who did you have the strongest connection with? You mean right now or Our in years general? Years past, right now. Just what, what comes to mind when you think about your relationship? Because I mean, sometimes uh, people think there's a separation between players, the coaches, owner, GM, all that. I mean, in my role now being an executive at the team, you know, from that standpoint, it would be Frank Gore. And, I mean, Frank probably texted me more than, like, friends and family last year when we were losing. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I mean, Frank and I have a good relationship and a good bond. And, I mean, he's somebody that if you could put Frank's heart into every player, you, you'd, you'd have a superstar across the board. 100%. Growing up, who was that guy when you were with the team as a kid? Who was the one that looked after you and said, oh, there's he, a 10-year-old boy? So, so two guys come to mind. The first is Tom Rathman. You know, like, I'll never forget mm -hmm. going to Chicago, 88 season, January of 89, negative 20-whatever degrees. Rathman walks out, the, the soft West Coast Niners, you know, <laughs> sleeveless, like, no, no sleeves. And, like, that set the tone for us. And, and that's who Tom was. And the other guy was Haley. Yeah. You know, Charles is a guy that, of like, course. You, know, you, you were never sure what you're going to get. Like, he'd mess with me a little bit, he and Eric Wright. And, you know, it was, it was just fun, like, having that, like, literally, like, the kid that you'd, like, throw in the locker. Right. <laughs> Jed, uh, last question. We, we all have such reverence for the owners. And you're at all these events, all the owners, all the executives. You're one of the youngest guys in the room, though. Take us into the room. When you're at the annual meeting or the cocktail party, whatnot, who's holding court? Who, who is an underrated personality? Who are you hanging with? I want to be in those rooms. Take us in. Do you want to know I'm, the squad? I, mean, I do. I, <laughs> but, but Where's I, your squad? Squad I, goals. I say this is underrated because unless you're around them, you don't know. Okay. Jerry Jones is obviously one of the most highly thought of, Hall of Fame, you know, just iconic people in the league. Like, he's still underrated in my opinion. Like, he is the really? guy that, like... When, when he's on in a meeting and he's, he wants to get something done, it's just amazing to watch him work. And he's got the ability to cut across, you know, big market, small market, new owner, old owner, whatever it is, and truly bring people together and make people laugh in a way that I don't think anybody else can do. Awesome.